Welcome to HeroQuest fans. Welcome to Saturday's stream. Live on Twitch, not live anywhere else. We are playing Rise of the Dread Moon. And of course, shout out to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio on YouTube for the music. And we are joined by our esteemed colleagues, the heroes. So tonight we've got Bohemius, Ribby, Gilly Gallon, Jacer. Yeah, it looks like we've got a full complement. And I guess it's also our affiliate anniversary, so thanks for the well wishes. Cheers, Dead Gamer. <clears throat> How are you guys doing tonight? Phenomenal. Phenomena? Phenomena. Earth the word. <laughs> nobody, nobody gets that. That's all right. Phenomena? Phenomena. 100%. Oh, for the, uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look it up. Do, 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 do. Manamana. <laughs> Manamana. <laughs> Just three, three hours of this and then we sign off. And people are like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How I, I've seen manamana. better Hero manamana. Quest streams, manamana. but not many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's pick our heroes tonight. Because you guys have a lot of questing to do. I have foreseen it. Uh, Barbarian, please? Seem to have lost camera number one. Let's try this again. There. Take who you want, based on all uh, the okay. remainder. Okay. So we've got uh, Bohemius the Wizard. We've got Ribby the Barbarian. Jacer. And Gilly Gallon. You guys have to fight over the last one. Don't don't take too long. Ah, uh, the dwarf, please. <laughs> and Gilly, you said you're okay with uh, the remainder, so that would be the. I will take the monk. The wandering monk. He wanders no more. Excellent. Okay, does anybody need any brush up on what we had last time for gear? Mm, that should be good. Okay, let me fix the Discord there. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. And I'm evil. All right, so when we last left our heroes, uh, they had discovered this door that the monsters were trying to beat down. And this uh, shop, the shopkeeper, friendly shopkeeper there. And a room full of monsters, of course. And of course, the shattered mirror. If sword, give to Ribby. Thanks, Vorticon. Equipment, a buckler. So, who wants the buckler? It's a type of armor. Is it bracers? Nope. Then not, not I. <laughs> I've got a shield already. Well, if you ever get out of this alive, it could always be. Uh, Something you trade in for gold. Sure, I'll take it. 
If anyone else wants it. He heard gold and he was like, Mm hmm. Brightened up. I could use the gold to buy another sword. That's right. Buy another drink. Only have, only want what, 12 of them? Is that too cool? I think I already have 12 swords. Seven. <laughs> oh, seven. He has, create, he has collected the seven swords of legend. At least that's what he calls them. He charges admission for the townsfolk to see them. A little tent. Okay. Unbeknownst to him, he always forgets to pick up the... Uh... The admission box when he leaves. Yep. Well, he never gets any money from it. He's created a lot of goodwill, though, at H Town he goes to. His, his legend grows. Ruby the Generous, they call him. Alright. Okay, so it is Zargon's turn. We usually leave off on Zargon's turn. So, I got my monsters go and I seem to remember you stepped into the room but these cultists hadn't really used their magic yet so with that in mind got, both got the barbarian in their sights I'm gonna say this one's gonna use dread lights on the barbarian so he can try to escape it now the roll if you would like. Yep, I'm coming. I'm gonna heat up some food while you're sitting up there. Okay. Meanwhile, his food is getting heated up by the uh... mm -hmm. his face is getting heated up. Was it uh is it one D six. One D six. What is the extra effect of the uh, the armor I gave to the uh, barbarian? Oh, the scales of Elithor. Yeah, probably, because probably Ribby doesn't know that he got that or ah. missed that session. Ribby, did you know that you had the scales of Elithor in your possession? I did not. Ah. Well, this fabled treasure has a little known benefit. And I'm looking through my cards so I can find what it is. <laughs> I want to say it's like an extra resistance to magic. I, yeah, I think it's an extra die. An extra die. Or maybe not an extra, maybe something like that. Or a reroll or something. Yeah, let me find the exact one so I can tell you true what it is. Not just the rumors that people have heard about it, you know. Hmm. Well, oh, I know where it is. Shuffling through his papers here. Russell, 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 Russell. Okay, the oh, yeah. scales of Elithorn. Gleaming armor crafted by the finest elven artisans. This enchanted armor grants you one additional defend die. When you attempt to resist the effects of a dread spell while wearing this armor, roll an additional die. It Ooh. may be combined with a helmet, shield, and or the wizard's cloak. So All right, well, it well. appears that you are wearing this instead of chainmail, I, I trust. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, of course. He hastily. <laughs> Obviously. I mean, come on. It's, it's like he's missed a button. <laughs> like, you know, it's kind of like half tucked into his pants and half not. Sure. Okay. All right. So you can go ahead and roll another die. I did. Yeah. So it's not once per quest. It's, it's every time. So actually, it's pretty, uh, pretty handy. Okay. So that time, yep, you resisted it. Ah. Okay. So the other one tries. The roll 2d6. Just have to remember you roll 2d6 each time. Okay, 
you double resisted it. <laughs> I could it back at him. <laughs> That'd be nice. That'd be hilarious. Is that an uncommon feat that you're <laughs> talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no. Although that would be kind of sick, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sure, let's try it. All right. So the barbarian's not not really used to this sort of thing, but he's gonna try his hand at it. <sighs> nope, he failed. All these uh, dread lights went up into the ceiling. And it was like everyone was like, "Ooh!" <laughs> <laughs> no, they they all looked and laughed at him. <laughs> all right, at least he tried. Okay, the Femir attacks. The Femir attacks. Oh, I need my stream deck. One skull, barbarian. Not to hit. Out. First blood. All right, he's gonna step back, and the orc is gonna come in to attack. There we go. Ching! No damage. Alright, Goblin's gonna move in. Two, three. To attack. Missed. Other goblin attacks. One skull. Barbarian. Ching. No damage. Impressive. Okay, and just check in here what else I can do. All right, hero's turn. Go, wizard. Uh, wizard already done all his research in this room, I don't remember. I think I even uh, investigate the the, uh, the mirror. Nothing else happened, so I'm going to move. All right. Five. One, two, three, four. Get there, but don't help. Hello, so I'm going just uh, north of the uh, dwarf. North of the dwarf. Okay. Line of sight to the barbarian, at least. The uh, striker follows and stay behind the uh, the wizard. That's it. Okay. All right, next up, the Mighty Dwarf. I'm going to attack, I guess, uh, was it the Femir? Yes. To the south? Yes. Or, um, well, or not, wait. No, you're not in range of the Femir. 
You've got uh, you've got goblins. All right, I guess they're goblins to the south. All right. I think I must have burned one of these cards last time and forgot. So. All right, one. Skull. Got him. Uh, movement to six, so I'm going to go just south of the barbarian. Hopefully I can attack the Femir next turn. Okay. I believe the uh, Arbalist is still under your control. Uh, I guess... Um, let's go six bases. Uh, uh, towards... Uh, he's injured. He's going to go towards the hideout. Two, three, four, five, six. I doubt the, exactly that position. They are the room. Because remember the corridor was uh, was free. Oh, Maybe I'm wrong. I I moved to the I moved to the entire room. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, it was on these squares. So yes, he can he can follow that path to get there. To the secret door. All right. Uh, that's it for uh, my guys. Okay. Welcome, Fubar and Asat, frame rate, and the rest of our Twitch chat. If you're request fans, okay. So next we have Gilly Gallon, the brave monk, and he sees at the he's moment, gonna bravely. Oh, nope, nothing. Nope, no monsters, so you've got all your abilities back. He's gonna bravely move towards the enemies. Three whole yep. pace steps. One, two, three. Look how brave he is. All right, and uh, roll a d6 because you still have one dread the light left. Stupid dread lights, yes. I'm glad you remembered that. <clears throat> I remembered it earlier. Forgot about it on my turn. Six. He's free. Oh, that's what the skull was for. That wasn't damage. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're free of the dreadlights. Okay. That, yeah, that's all I can do. Alright, Barbarian? Yes, sir. Um, let's see here. Move me north of the southern cultist. And uh, I'm going to swing my greatsword at his head. Ah. He hit him and gold comes out. I guess he was a pinata. I'm just kidding. <laughs> ah, we got a bonus treasure search and a threat card. I like it. Thank you. Good for that Wordicon. Okay, but I still gotta roll my defense. I mean, these cultists aren't that strong, so you never know. Yep, I got him. Yeah, it's just that dreadlights. 
I'm trying to get rid of. Okay. I, st I still have the glaive hanging around, don't I? Glaive. Or, or did he die? I can't remember. I you get thought he last like week. saved him six times. No. Yeah, we did save him many times, mm -hmm. but uh, let me just check real quick because that was that was the only. Uh... I don't remember what happened to him. It was too violent to show. I don't remember him dying. Wait a minute. You might be right about this. Oh, yep, I screwed up. <laughs> Killed him off and I shouldn't have. Uh, yeah, he's actually still in the room. Surprise! <laughs> okay. But he is, but he is um, Yeah. Okay. Let me let me make sure I didn't forget any other other things here when I was sitting back. Yeah, I, I got him at one body point. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because the and he has a potion of healing on him. Striker. Scout. Scout. Where's the scout? Oh yeah, I forgot about him. Oh man. Caught me cheating. And we just checked him up too. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, so I should say, yeah. Um Jacer, you can move your scout if you want. I guess he can go to where the dwarf was by the door. Which door? This one here? Yeah, because he wouldn't have gone in because the barbarian was there. Okay. Okay. So, yes. Uh, Ribby, you've got the, the glaive. Sweet. Um, let's go over and hit the other cultist. Maybe they were using their stealthy abilities to uh, to hide from the enemy till the time was right. Okay, so he's going to move one, two, like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Roll his three attack dice. Kill. That's pretty good. Ching! And a hit. Got him. That's it for me. Okay. All right. Back to Zargon. Stream scribe, hey, thanks. And Rob Champ, welcome, guys. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Playing some Rise of the Dread Moon, and we've got all heroes this time. <laughs> for once, uh, we don't we don't normally get uh, all four, but cool when it happens. Okay, Let's see what I got. All right, I'm going to try to eliminate one, two, three, four, five at pesky glaive. I'm trying to think how long it's been, two years? Because we had our one year anniversary quite a while ago. I haven't been counting since affiliate though. I've just been since, uh, started streaming ah okay it's cloth 1d6 healing potion ah, just enough to get him back hey thanks use it is oh wow hey <laughs> 
I don't usually uh, approve of cheering with bits, but I mean, thank you. Generous of you. Okay, so he took some damage. Uh, but then he healed back. Back at seven. What's that? Oh, can you hear me all right? Mm-hmm. What's back at seven? Your body points. The glaive is at seven body points? Oh no, I was looking at the barbarian, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I mean, no, hey. no, no. Yeah, I, I was, I was not paying attention. Okay, so he went down, mm -hmm. took, the, took the potion, came back with full. Does he only have two? Is that his max? Yeah, and he was already damaged. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So actually, that worked out perfectly. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he no longer has any healing of any kind. Correct. Let's see, but the Barbarian still has three restorations. Is that right? Uh, yeah. I have two, but I'll take a third. Maybe I didn't write down the third one. <laughs> well, Fubar is going to make an honest man out of you here with his... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Approve, Psh, I do what I want. Call me a Chaos Warrior. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, <clears throat> if you really want to help us, gift subscriptions are are better. But I guess they cost more. So, you know, I understand. It's cool. I like all the support. All right. Uh, Potion of Battle Rage. So this is for the Barbarian. <laughs> to the Glaive a Drink. Mordecon redeemed a Chaos card. Where's Argon? Okay, so Battle Rage goes to the Barbarian. He's the only one who can use it. So he's now got two of those. Sorry, Fubar. Congrats, that'll buy you half of a broken used 1989 Games Workshop Mini. <laughs> Dang. Hey, those old Hammer guys take the, their, their hobby very seriously, so I would never make fun of them. Okay, so I did my attack. Uh, let's see. Well. Hmm. Yeah, that goblin's going to move over to attack the glaive. Two skulls. Cha Ching! No damage. All right, Orc is going to run out here and attack the scout. Two skulls. So Jacer, um, three, ooh. Yeah, three skulls, he died. I don't think the scout had any potions because we just got him. Yep. The fight goes on. The fight goes on. All right. Hardly knew him. Okay, he, he did have a heroic brew, though. So I guess uh, 
the crossbowman could claim it. Hold on, guys. He did have a he did have a potion of healing, lesser healing. Did he? Yeah, I have written right. down. Here's what I have written down: heroic brew, four daggers, caltrop smoke. Oh, bombs. that's right. He did. Oh, okay. you're right. Yes, I forgot all about that. He bought a bunch of stuff and used a bunch of stuff. Fight. Ozan. He used a bunch of coin. Fight. Those. Yes, the reputation I'm token. Feeling great. He said. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we'll uh, we'll cross off the lesser healing. Yeah, there was some shopping. So you you guys you guys look after your mercenaries. It's not like you throw them away like cannon fodder, like in some other quests. Okay, <clears throat> Drat. This is the orc. Didn't kill him enough. All right. Well, at this point, I think. Yeah. Okay. Hero's turn. Uh, could you please check how uh, many potion I got because I have more than you uh, than the one you marked. The one you marked. I got more than three marked okay. on my sheet. Restoration. One d six. Two three two plus fours. Three four. Five. Oh, a second D6. Yeah, I got. I wrote it in a different column than I normally do. Out. I wasn't I got looking five at it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and you never cashed in your sacred plant. You still got that. Not right. yet. Not yet. Yeah. Okay, I didn't have the time yet to do it. That's just a mind point, though. Okay. One, two, three, yeah, four, like... five. All right, we'll so, you here. Uh, I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack the orc with the the magic magic dagger. Oh, yes. Two okay. shields. <laughs> and then I'm going to move. Like when Daffy Duck tries to shoot Marvin the Martian <laughs> with his disintegrator ray, and it's like. And when it disintegrates, yeah. brother, it really disintegrates. <laughs> oh, what do you know? It disintegrated. <laughs> so I move a six. So I'll move two square uh, north. To uh, pass two, I pass uh, two regeneration potion to the uh, to the striker. Ah. Uh. And continue to the left, four more squares. Okay, when you say two regeneration potions... Two um, rejuvenation, sorry, rejuvenation, um, uh, it, because I, uh, I marked them uh, uh, It is the 1d6 potion. Okay, yep, that works. Two, two of those. So he's got heal 2d6. Okay. Yep. And move four squares to the left with the wizard. Yes. Okay. The strike here, uh, one south and attacks. You know, I heard that glaive was a quarter barbarian on his mother's side. Two skulls. Could be. <laughs> so I could use that battle rage. Maybe a, a piece of it. Okay. It's a good hit. 
Ching and a hit. <laughs> Got him. That's it. Take a shot with the crossbow at the Famir. One's One. gone. He failed to catch it. One damage. All right, the scout. Uh, the scout's gonna run into this room and straight north, and he's gonna attack the goblin. Okay, so he came in the room and... Made a right turn and ran up straight north. Okay. Following the wall and attacking the goblin. Two skulls. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. All right, and then crossbow. He'll come right to that doorway, and he'll shoot the Famir. Twice removed. <laughs> also two skulls. Got him. Awesome. All right. Uh, on to the monk. There's no more monsters anywhere, is there? Right. Um, the room closest to me, to the left, has it been searched for anything yet? Uh, that room, let's put the calming music back on. I don't think so. Well, then I shall How enter that you? room. How about you? Yeah. And search for secret doors and traps. Ah, using his skillful ability. Okay. There are no traps and no secret doors. That's all I can do. All right. Rubinada. <laughs> Yes, thank yeah. you, Matt Camp. Um, let's search traps. Okay. Searching for traps, huh? Mm hmm. Searching for traps, he says. Okay. The floor looks weak, and the floor looks weak. Oh. Okay. Um. Hmm. I guess I could start moving. Somebody else can search for. Eh. Just move me to the. Ah, never mind. Just leave me there. Same with the glaive, leave him there. Okay. That's it for me. Alright. Near the wooden exit door, a pit opens up. It's just a room with a dead guy in it. Nothing bad could happen, says Fubar. 
So a pit opens up, and from out of the pit, there's a zombie. And he gets shoved out of the way. And a Femir appears. And then they both get shoved out of the way. Because a Chaos Warrior appears. And then they all get shoved out of the way. Because another Chaos Warrior appears. Alright. And then the zombie uh, turns to the door. Closed door. And tries to batter it down. Once again. Mwahaha. Thanks, Fubar. Alright, let me get the bonus monster here. charge goes off and the uh, statue explodes and topples over and there's a magus guard there Aha. okay all right hero's turn wizard first Wizard trying to stab <laughs> big guy. All right. One skull. One skull. Ching. No damage. <laughs> and then move. Three. Three. I'm actually going to you way about dexterity. Put yep. dexterity. Yes, you do. I'll do a dexterity and move up plus five, so eight. Mm -hmm. Um. So a four to the right, then four uh, south. And the striker. The striker will we move uh, uh, two, one square to the to south and one square to the right. One square to the south? In the card. One and one to the right. Oh, to the, okay. Inside the card. There we go. And that's it. Alright. Dwarf. Going to let's, we'll start rolling for movement. Uh, he's gonna put his tower shield away and drink a potion of speed. Yes, it's all the speed he can get. I should have two of them. All right, I'm just using one now. Okay. So you roll four dice now for movement. Uh, 
Ooh, an eight. Is I'm gonna get just enough movement to get diagonal of that Nagus guard. I'm going to drink my potion of battle rage. All right. All right. So that just doubles the uh, the attack, right? I believe so. Nope. No, Battle Rage is the one that gives you two attacks per turn as long as there's monsters in sight. Oh, so oh, then I don't want to drink that one. Alright. You're thinking no. of... Icy uh, Strength, I icy think. Icy Strength, yeah. Okay, All so right. you're um, not, not I don't, I don't, yeah, I, uh, I don't have Icy Strength anymore. I think I used that one. Yeah, I have, uh, yeah, I think I have, I have Frost Skin left, not Icy Strength. I used Icy Strength. Mm -hmm. um. All right. And so. icy hot, he left back in the village for his return home <laughs> if he makes it. Icy to dull the pain, hot to relax it away. That's right. Oh, well, he understood what he wanted That's to right. do. Three skulls. <laughs> okay. So that's an attack with the longsword? Yes. Two hits. Yes, and they equip the long sword and the regular shield for this run. <laughs> All right. Well, you. Um, yeah. 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 To put the tower shield away. He does have a regular <laughs> shield. Yeah, so his defense goes down by one, but he can move well, twice as fast. Okay. All right, and then your mercenaries. Uh, we got Arbalist and Scout in the room. Uh, Arbalist, I guess we'll go six to the right. You know what? Uh, yeah, that's good. Or no, actually bring him back one space. So it's a little closer to where the uh, monk is. And I guess the the scout will just run up and stand next to the, uh, the dwarf. I think he has enough movement to get any farther. So that's it for them guys. Alright, Gilly. I'm going to search for treasure. have a lunar charm in your possession don't you I believe so yes all right so you have the lunar charm it starts to kind of like hum and glow in your pocket so you like pick it up and you like touch it to the little slot on the uh, uh, sorcerer's table there and it starts to like yeah like power goes through you and you uh, are healed one body point
Okay. In addition to that, as you're searching around, you find something. Let's see what it is. Now, is this uh, was this a regular treasure search or one of these uh, bonus searches? A uh, regular. Okay. All right, you found a gem tucked into the toe of an old boot. Those, Value those gem boots, I tell you. 50 gold coins. Yeah, a lot of heroes would just be like, an old boot, great, I can affect repairs. For sure, that boot was very uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Ah, no wonder. This thing's been digging into my foot for all these miles. Valuable gem. I use it to buy some ointment to put on my sore foot. <laughs> you got owie. <laughs> all right. Icy hot. Yes. Yes. You never know that adventurer could have been missing a toe and just, you know, wedged that in there. Yep. He had space for it. Okay, so after that, it's the monster's turn. Well, I was going to move. Oh, he's going to move. And then the barbarian gets to go. Ah, uh, I tried to skip his turn again. Uh, stick the one south and then don't enter the next corridor, but just stop at the corner of it. To the right. Alright, stops just short. Yeah, I don't want to see around the corner. We had bedazzled toenails. <laughs> yep. Okay, yes. And, uh... Rudely skipped ribbies. Remarkable round of ribaldry. <laughs> I heard um, rave, rave reviews. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're done in this room. Yeah, we don't want to uh, search for down. swords. <laughs> search for swords. Con Um. All right. Let's move. I mean, have you seen how much gold he has to spend on insurance for those swords? It's ridiculous. Uh, did you already search for treasures there? No. Not been searched for oh, I room. guess we didn't. No. Oh, yeah. Let's search for treasure first. Search for treasure first. For swords. Interesting. Okay. All right. As you're searching, you sense that there's somebody <laughs> hiding inside the tomb. He pops out. This kind of ah. mysterious figure. He wordlessly hands you an artifact, and then he leaves. Is it a sword? Nope. It's a Damn it. It's a shield. Damn it. <laughs> so he doesn't want it, then. <laughs> he just drop it. it. Well, I'm, I'm switching over to shields now, I guess. I gotta get I gotta get legend. seven shields. Seven shields of, of legend. I go with the seven swords. No one has yet been able to claim them all and live to tell the tale. Well, somewhere in here there is a card artifact for the Dawn Shield. <laughs> Santa? <laughs> he sees you when you're sleeping. Okay. Somewhere. So this is where I like I'm starting to get so many of these expansions that it's it's hard to stay organized. I need to like come up with a system to organize all the stuff. I had one for the classic game, but not for the remake. There's the Raven's Talon. Well the Dawn yeah, Shield I... is is basically like a regular shield, but it has a, a little perk. What were you gonna say? Oh here it is. I still have all mine separated. Plus one once per quest for anyone. Force attacking monster reroll all die. Oh, neat. Yeah, so they get once per even, quest. Even better roll. Yep. So you can't combine it with the battle extra staff. Can't be used by the wizard. So yeah, a golden shield that shines with radiant light at the first break of day. At the first light, you might say. Interesting. I wonder if that's a clue. The dwarf is jealous. <laughs> the 
Dwarf doesn't know about it yet. All right. And then the ghostly figure just kind of like fades away. Okay. Uh, now I will move one north, east out the door. There's no monsters on the board, right? Yes, there are. Oh, I yeah, should that door. They're smashing the door in. Yeah, there's five of them. There's four right. down there, and there's a Magus guard where the dwarf is. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'll go out the do door and one north. Important thing is the Dawn Shield is still in production, while the Joy Saber is no longer available on store shelves. <laughs> the Hogfather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm missing your guys' conversation. <laughs> or like in the Chronicles of Narnia when uh, Santa just shows up. Father oh, Christmas! And he's handing out weapons. You know, it's serious. Okay, so he's going out the door. Out the door and one north. Basically as far as he can go. Okay, and then the glaive. One, two, three, four, five. The U.S. dishwashing cleaner joke for our U.K. friends. <laughs> then the glaive will go one out the door as, as far as he can go. And that's it. Alright. Yeah, just remember each room can be searched by each hero, each quest for treasure. Okay. <clears throat> My turn. All right, the uh, Magus Guard is going to shoot Ball of Flame at the Dwarf. Like, how about a little fire, Scarecrow? All right, so he should roll his 2d6, and he got a 2 and a 4. Or no, he didn't. That was, that was Ruby. That was Ruby. He's rolling for you. Yeah, Jacer, go for it. Well, that was his movement roll. Yeah. For his barbarian. Oh, and you, um, you get to roll three dice. Right? Not me. Not me. Oh. Who's, uh, Ruby okay. has the, um, armor. Oh, yeah, okay. Let me make sure I wrote that down correctly. Um, I think I'm just going to drink my fire resistance potion. Ah. Uh, okay, so you blocked one. But you decided to just take the potion so you don't take any damage. Yep. All right. That works. Okay. Fire resistance is used. All right, so douses the flame. No damage. Okay. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, he's going to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight back here. The zombie's going to take a turn bashing at the door. Okay. Door defends. Ching. Failed to do any damage. So he just moves aside. The Femir moves in. Ah, give me a shot. The attacks. The door, three skulls. Alright, door defends. Two. He smashes the door down. 
splinters of wood go flying. And let's see. All right, and you hear screams as if there's like people like running, retreating back in the room. All right, Chaos Warrior moves forward. One, two, three. You hear the Chaos Warrior swinging his sword, you know, coming after people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like that's as far as he can get. This Chaos Warrior is just taunting the uh, the shopkeeper and the monk. It's like, just try and stop us. Ah, 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 ah. Alright, back to the heroes. That's concerning. Uh, rolling for movement. Okay. Another bonus treasure, sir. Eight. Where can I go with eight? Aha. Can I see uh, can I have a better vision of the map, please? On uh, the south. Certainly. I think only a few have availed themselves of the hideout thus far. Yeah, I'm going to try to enter inside the hideout. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay. Uh, what am I allowed to do here? I don't remember. Okay. Yes. So <laughs> you are allowed to uh, heal yourself up if you want to by rolling one of your six. Of course, you only have one we'll body part missing. You can pretty much guaranteed. Wait, well, automatic? What yeah, else? You're going to get at least one. Okay, so you do that. Uh, you can also, there is an alchemist bench over here. You can use that to cash in your uh, reagent. Okay. Mm, okay, what I can, I can craft in you know, the uh, okay. secret plant. Yes, I believe it's holy water, and let's see what else. Secret plant. second here uh, potion of restoration or holy water so that's the one body one mind or destroy an undead creature I'll create um, a holy water all right going up to two holy water mm -hmm. and what else can I re recuperate spells? No. Or not. Uh, unfortunately not. Okay. So that's it for the wizard. The uh, striker is going to move the full movement in the direction of the wizard. Okay. That's it. Okay. Ah. Thank you, Wardicon. I missed the uh, bonus monster there. Oh, making me reshuffle. shuffle. All right. All right. And so, dwarf will roll for movement. Five. I'm reshuffling these. Okay. The dwarf will move four to the corner there and 
equip the crossbow to shoot at the uh, Magus guard. Running from the fight is rude. Yep. And I missed. He missed. He missed. No riffle shuffle. All right, the scout is going to run up to the Magus guard, and he will chug his heroic brew. Ah, give himself two attacks. So we get a attack for four. Yep, that's a good hit. Let's see what he gets. Defense. Ching, and another. Got him. All right. Scout speed. <laughs> and crossbow. It's going to move six spaces. He's going to go to the right and then north. Uh, no, the other right towards the oh. monk and then up that corridor I think two spaces uh yeah and, he, and he's gonna shoot the zombie no the chaos warrior yeah two skulls not bad Two hits. Nice. All right. I surprised him. Yeah, they were too busy knocking on the door. They didn't hear the monk. He snuck up there and was blocking all the sound from the crossbowman. The, uh, so that's a, the shopkeeper that's was my guys. sitting in a chair and he's like, Oh, on the way by, the uh, the scout, he's going to hand off all those daggers to the uh, dwarf. Because the dwarf has oh. a potion of alchemy. Yeah, when he ran by. Okay. I mean, I guess it's all in the same turn, so. Well, otherwise, they, they're going to have to meet up on the next turn, but they're close enough. Okay. Okay, but he still has the Caltrop and the smoke bomb. Uh, no, he used them. The Caltrop and the smoke bomb oh, was used on yeah. somebody yeah. when he walked out out the door to rejoin <laughs> the party. I heard myself actually in there. You're right. Yeah, that was those were memorable times. I just forgot to cross him off. Okay, so now he's gotten rid of all of his excess belongings. Correct. Got it. All right. Okay, so now it's the end of Jacer's turn, so the Mighty Monk. Uh, Monk is going to move around the corner down and move just two spaces. That's where he can move to. I don't have to roll for that, do I? Nah. Okay. And I'm going to attack. Alright. What are you going to attack with? The old Fist of Fury. Okay. If memory serves, that's a black and a purple, correct? Uh, black and white. Black and white. Yep. Yeah, this is the one where he attacks in all directions. I mean, it's still good because you're moving towards oh. fire. Yes. Yeah, if you use a weapon, it's a white and a purple. If you're using your fist, it's a white and a, or it's a black. A white and a black. Yeah. 
The purple has a chance to get a double skull. So there is that. But Yeah, I'll use What's the actual word for that? The eye of the storm? Yeah. Yeah. So that That is a sorry, black uh black and white. Yes. Yeah, these were my like pre-release uh, things that I printed out. And actually, I kind of like them better than the official ones because they're small enough. I can just easily turn them on screen. All right, one skull. So he whips out a really impressive. Ha! And it strikes true. He caves in his helmet. Got him. Bows to his defeated opponent. About all I can do, isn't it? Uh, yep. Move in action. Well done. Speaking of well done, we got the barbarian. Alright. Um, can I see a little north? Come on up there. Yeah, originally there were, well, I forgot to put out the two stone walls, but there's a dead end, just so you know. Mm hmm And then, can I look south, please? Okay. Hmm. Trying to figure out where to go. This room hasn't been yeah. explored yet. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to start heading that way. So... There's no monsters on the board, is there? Yes, there is. There's Damn lots it. of monsters on the board. Ah! Alright. Oh. Ah. They're beating up escaping villagers. Do you guys need help over there? Oh, it? Um, I'll start to head north towards that closed door. One, two, three, this end is four. Okay. And then the glaive. One, two, three, four, five, six. One in front of the barbarian. And that's it. Monsters. All right, zombie turns, Arr! notices the uh, monk, moves forward, one, two, three, to attack. Two skulls, monk. Your defense should be four, I believe. Cha Ching, no damage. Where the Magus Guard had fallen, his body, like the armor, kind of falls off, but the body rises up. Revealing a, a zombie. He takes a shot at the scout. One skull. Ching, no damage. He was watching him close. He saw the change. He was ready. All right.
All right, the familiar steps in. It's like, no fair, you have all the fun. You hear like fighting noises, screams, <laughs> running. All right. An orc steps out of the pit. Here. All right, heroes. Okay. Rolling for movement. Seven. So. I'm going to, before I move, I'm going to drink a potion of uh, magical adaptation, uh, aptitude, sorry, <laughs> magical aptitude, All right. cast two spells, I'm going to use the potion of recall, ah. one of the two I got, and recover a genie. Okay. Use uh, the uh, past rock uh, spell scroll. Yes. Move straight through the rock to the room uh, with the screams. Should, should be seven enough to enter in that room. All right. All right, you see the, the huddled and beat up uh, villagers. These are the ones that stayed by so that the others could escape and they're, you know, bloodied and, you know, pretty, pretty, uh, in pretty rough shape. And the monsters are like, you know, kicking them around and punching them and, you know. And they use Genie. All right. Genie on the kill sorter. All right. All right, this really comical guy appears and starts uh, throwing fisticuffs at the uh, at the genie. <laughs> two. All right, two skulls. Let's see. All right. Coup counter coup. It's pretty beat up. Another bonus treasure search was activated. Thank you. All right, so it gives uh, it gives time for a, a, a few more of the villagers to retreat to safety to the secret passages. And the striker moves uh, full movement in the direction of the dwarf. Okay. Can I can I uh, attack the zombie? Yep. Okay, we can this. Okay, perfect. That one. Ah, uh, the wrestling move. Ah, you got him anyway. But what's, yeah, what's it gonna be? What do you want a card? Pick a card. <laughs> All right. Shake, rattle, and roll. You, Appropriate. Uh, you suddenly notice the uh, striker has a bit of a pompadour uh, haircut, and he kind of starts uh, shaking his hips around and <laughs> grabs the zombie and takes him for a ride. All right. Thank you very much. Got him. And your turn, uh, J, sir.
Right. Can I uh, just see a little further to the north? Ah, skill card for hero. Forever needs some extra ability. Sorry, we're really spread out here. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see the dwarf is going to drink his other potion of speed. All right, slip. Who needs slip? Uh, maybe the monk. Okay. All right, so you have the ability to slip past enemies one time in the quest. Gilly. And part. You can slip into that room and slaughter some monsters. <laughs> um, and all right, so I drank my potion of speed. All right. Uh, His feet start no forming a mini tornado underneath him. <laughs> you hear like this cartoon sound effect. Eleven. I'm going to go 11 to the green room. All right. Past the traps. Two, yes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's at the door. Yes, I'm opening the door. Okay. Right. Opens the door to the green room. see a number of things. You see a fireplace here as well as a Chaos Warrior a Magus Guard an Elven Warrior And an elven archer. They were just waiting. Alright. I guess now I will drink my battle rage potion. <laughs> Alright. Battle rage. And... <laughs> and I will use my careful aim kill. Oh, yes. Right. yes. Careful aim. So you're using that in conjunction with your crossbow? Yes. Okay. So after you roll the dice, multiply by two the final die results, apply them against your opponent. Does that last for both of these attacks, or only the first one? Does it double, like, if I shoot at the battle rage, that... Oh no, it's two extra dice, right? No, it's... Now I'm mixing them up. Multiply two by two. The final, the, uh, the yeah. final results. So it the depends. Result. Yeah, I would say either the second attack, or if you're applying the two attacks against one target, then... It just goes to that one. Okay. Um, so I'm going to shoot at the... Uh, Archer and Magus Guard. Or no, Archer and Chaos Warrior. Okay. So first attack... <laughs> One skull. Well, it's doubled because of careful aim. Right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, two skulls. Okay. So, uh, oops. 
I gotta roll two defense. All right, two hits. Let's see if this uh, Chaos Warrior is an elite or not. He's not. So go for your second shot. One skull, so two skulls, really. And then we'll do defense. Two hits. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so that skill has been used. Careful aim. Uh, the scout is going to move. Uh, he'll move into that blue room there and attempt to disarm that trap. Okay. Well, anything but a black shield. All right. He's disarmed it. All right. The crossbowman. It was a caltrop. Okay. Uh, crossbowman is going to. Uh, he's going to shoot at the zombie. Or he's going to attempt to shoot at the zombie. The monk is like, don't shoot, don't shoot. I mean, he does have twisting turret. Okay, so this All is right, got a skull. This is an uncommon feat. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. So so a skull, so it's not gonna hit the Alright. It's not gonna hit the monk. Okay, go ahead, roll your dice. Three skulls. Okay. Ooh, three. So it suddenly every the camera focuses on the crossbowman and everything goes into slow motion. He's like, and then it's like the monk. It just looks over at the monk and the monk like does the splits, <laughs> and he goes down, and the the bolt goes flying over his head and and strikes the zombie. Let's see if the zombie can do anything about it. I'm guessing not, but we'll see. Nope, strikes him full in the face. Nice work. Very good, very good. All right, uh, so that brings us to the monk. It gives him some running room. All right, he can save the slip for another time. Okay, you can see an orc at the end of the corridor. So you've got water left. But there's a chaos world. All I have left is water? Well, if you use water, then you're going to unlock fire. Oh, yes. Because you got to use them all before you get it. Well, you should have failed, Jace. <laughs> I was willing to go either way. Supposed to tell you still had a chance. To, to you still had a chance to block it. Yeah. Yeah, he could have chosen to just use it. And that, I learned that move from my cousin Paula Abdul. Yeah. Great, uh, uh, go to the doorway with the. Uh, what is that in the doorway? This is a cast. Yeah, that cast. Warrior. Yeah, I'm gonna punch that thing in the head a couple times. Is the goal? All right. Uh, the heck would it be? Well, if you're attacking with your fists, it'd be one black, one white. If you're using one of your weapons, yeah. it'd be purple and well it depends on which weapon you use just my fist it's your fist oh i can't type today it's a fighting monk the 
those it's all those one finger push ups that he did. All right. The one inch punch. Yep. Alright. Let's see what he can do. No damage. Got his attention though. Can I blow in his eyes to make him blink? <laughs> <laughs> you do that, but uh, you don't get the satisfaction because it's his helmet. You know, his helmet's covering his face, but you sense that, you know. He, he what did. I did felt right. Yep. You knew. He was sweating. Okay. Alright. The Mighty Barbarian. Yeah. Really? Four. Okay. Just keep heading towards... Uh... To the west, sir. Yeah. And we'll move the glaive up as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Uh, keep moving the glaive. Two, three, four, five. As far as I can go. Yeah. Good enough. That is it. All right. <laughs> All these chaos cards. Thank you. Thank you, Dark Forces. Okay. The orc advances one two to attack the monk. One skull. You're thinking about your options, aren't you? I mean, you should still roll defense, but what you do after that is your choice. Well, what do you think, Gilly? Yeah, sorry. My bad. The kid was talking to me. Uh, he was meditating. I'm going to block everything. Ch -ch Ching! Combo breaker! All right. You get a wrestling move as well. Just a card. All right. I don't know any wrestling moves anymore. I feel like he would do probably do like an arm bar or something. But <laughs> we'll see. Ah, scissor kick. Well, that that kind of works. All right. Got him. All right. The Chaos Warrior attacks the monk. Two skulls. Hmm, that'd be two damage. Is this the time when you bring out the, uh... That, that would be a very good time for me to, uh... Do I have to do anything special? Nope. Or is it just activate? So you're using it. Using the the old twisting current and, uh... Yeah, your fish can. Catch me when I'm liquid. Yeah. Be like water, my friend. Alright, no damage. It's like, what? 
Okay. All right, the Femir is gonna go one, two, three, four. Past the cowering villagers and attacks the wizard. One skull, wizard. Long and nicely move. Shall I draw you a card? Please do. It's the figure four leg lock. Woo! <laughs> All right. Rick Flair. Get him. Ah. Ah. You're wrenching back. He's like, ah. Ah. All right. One damage. Magic spell casting, alchemy crafting, son of a gun. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, I've got another room full of monsters, though. So let's dig these guys out. So first, the archer is going to take a shot at the dwarf through the doorway. One skull only. He's defending with the regular shield, last I checked. Six. Yep, that's correct. Okay, well, he easily blocked it. What's I'm, I'm going to go with a card as well. All right. Choke slam. Always amusing. <laughs> Runs up. Ah, got him. Faster than his arrow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, the Magus Guard orders the Chaos Warrior to attack. Two. Two skulls, dwarf. <sighs> Dang, look at the suspense. Okay, he blocked everything and got a wrestling move. All right, another card. This is all you're doing. The bionic elbow. Excellent. All right. Of course, he's uh, uh, wearing his uh, lucky polka dot shorts. He does the little dance and then smashes his elbow down on the helmet. <sighs> Got him. He did it for all the working men and women out there struggling to feed their families in this these hard times. All right. Magus Guard points his sword at the, at the dwarf and then unleashes Ball of Flame. And his name is John Cena! <laughs> his name is John Cena. Okay, so he only took one damage. No more magic resistance, huh? Actually, I might drink it. Oh, you do have one against damage. Yes, I will drink the magic resist for damage. Okay.
There we go. It's back at three. Ah. Tell the other guy to get up there. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. The Elven Warrior takes a shot with his mighty blade. One skull only. It's a tough little guy. Ooh, just barely. Hey, I got one. Barely blocked it. I was thinking that's the one that's going to go through. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Looks like that's all I, all the damage I can do right now. So back to the heroes. Yes. Um, I cast a fire of wrath on the chaos warrior. All right. goes up in flames. Got him. And then I'm going to roll for a moment. The monk nods approvingly <laughs> to the fire. <laughs> so I'm going one south of or uh, to the right and three <laughs> north. Uh, I'm sorry. Outside of the oh, room. Outside yeah. of the room. The Nunk nods foreshadowingly. Uh -huh. <laughs> the striker uh, moves toward the uh, uh, the wizard. Fast as he can. That's the shortest route. One, yes. Two, three, four, five, six. And that's it. Your turn, Jacer. Right. Uh, the dwarf directs his rage right at the. Uh, the swordsman. Doing a wrestling move. Wow. Alright, let's see if he gets anything. Ching! And a hit. And a wrestling move hits him. All right. Um, draw a card? Yeah, I'll draw a card. Bear hug. Perfect. I bear, I, be, I bear hug him and I pull him in close and his head slams into the door jam. Oh. <laughs> All right. As a dwarf, ow. <laughs> yeah, he grabbed his, he grabbed his knees, <laughs> slammed his head into the doorway. Yep. All right. He's staggering, but he's still standing. Anything else? Uh, 
Yes. Um, the, uh, let me see how far I can go. All right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have him fall back to the next doorway. So he's just gonna move three spaces, and then uh, Scout is gonna come into that doorway and he's gonna attack that swordsman. Two skulls. Got him. And, uh, Arbalist. He's gonna move six spaces towards the, uh, wizard or five spaces to the wizard okay yep that's that's it screaming <laughs> with fire stuff happening all right so you've got two options crackling with energy his eyes aflame he can either shoot he could shoot the beam or he could uh, go up and hit him with the flaming fist which one does which one looks cooler and which one? <laughs> See, the card I'm looking at doesn't have two options. It's only got one. Oh, yeah. So one shoots a, a beam, which would do two damage, yeah. which would destroy him. Yes. The other That's way cool would, and all. would punch him. If you go forward and punch him, you'd do one damage and he'd be dead anyway. And if you could take damage Dog. later, blast ah. him. Take two damage at the end of his turn. Yeah. All right, that's that's that one. Okay. Okay. So, so no, I'm I'm gonna do the beam because, um, you know, magical fire. science stuff. Uh, yeah. I do. Okay, yeah, so with the screaming, we gotta do the screaming. <sighs> Got him. You win. Perfect. Finished. Him. <laughs> Got, Got him. him. All right. Looks like the rest of the the villagers have cleared out, escaped. Everybody, all the survivors have have been able to get to safety. Um. I'm going to take one step into that room All right. and search for, I, you did your action I guess, crap. Oh yeah, I guess I did. I'm just going to stay right there for a minute. Alright. Revel in his victory. The smell the, the burnt corp. It smells like victory. Alright, yeah, another bonus treasure search. Somebody wants you to search for treasure. I You could use a bonus search if you wanted to. Want to do that? Well, if the the audience wants it, <laughs> I think Wardicon wants somebody to start searching for treasure. It's your your call. 
Yeah, no, no, for sure. 100%, let's do it. Monsters start piling up. Okay. So, potion of healing, 1d6. Nice. There should be quite a few of these. Uh, let's see. Let me see how many we've got left here. Bonus search. Okay, there's... There's like four more left. <laughs> so, I mean, if you want, you could search again, or you could save some for the other kids uh, in the class, whatever. Uh... Or another one. I was going to say, I, I've, I've been pretty good luck this today. You know, I got through all four guards in one shot. So, yeah, let, let's go for number two. All right. Number two. Well, it's a safe search, so we can ignore that. Gold. 25 gold coins. Add to his fight purse. So it should be at 890. Any other I, characters? I think you're missing uh, a 50 from a, a boot, the gem in the boot. I'm at 940 on my. I did forget that. I'm sorry. That caused a lot of irritation to his uh, his foot too. Yeah, a new, yeah. A new boot. <laughs> yeah, nine forty. Ah, my foot. It's a blood diamond. All right. That's all I got. All right. Cleaned up. All right. And a mummy emerges from the pit. Magus Guard is still alive. So, if the Barbarian's legs work this turn, we can either shoot him or stab him. Yeah, let me get that uh, screen a little better here. That's the third four I've rolled in a row. I know, and I thought if I said something, maybe it wouldn't happen, but it still <laughs> happened ironically anyway. S superstition. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh well. Slowly making my way. Slowly and surely drawing your plans against them. my little discord window oh. well I guess I'll just keep heading up there slowly there we go okay okay so just four towards the main group one two three four yeah all right and then the glaive the, the, the fact that your uh random generated thing is rolling the same thing <laughs> over and over again is it's actually proof that life. it's random yep yeah true to life uh roll. move let's see the glaive Uh, put him to the left of the dwarf. We'll call it good. It's like lots of really terrible rolls, and then all of a sudden, like a series of really good ones. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Classic. 
classically bad. Okay. That's it for me. If I use Tempest on the first guy, it's not really going to do too much. So, Magus Guard moves forward, attacks the scout. Two skulls. Ching, and a hit. Scout lives. He lives. Two, three. Oh, he has a choice of targets. Yeah. He's going to attack the, the monk. One skull. One damage. I think you actually defend with four. You roll four dice. Yeah. You roll one more. One white. Ah, no such luck. Okay. It definitely do. Definitely says four right there. I mean, yeah. like that's all I can do. Alright. Back to the heroes. Wizard. Um, yes. So, um... See the, so the wizard's got a dagger in one hand and a bottle of holy water in the other. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And the monk is completely out of power right now. So I think he needs help. So move one square uh, south. Yeah, but I wouldn't use the uh, the holy water. I prefer to, to keep it for the for the ghosts. Ah, they're more dangerous. <laughs> uh, do one uh, go no. Oh, that's okay, Gilly. We're we're uh, we're getting close to the end anyway. So, good game, man. Thanks for playing. Crossbow. Oh. We should finish up. Crossbow can kill it. Uh, I'll try to yes, I'll try to attack with the dagger. Okay. Yeah, dagger is good against ghosts as well. Yeah. But holy water's the, the sure. Fire. I can reroll one. Yep. Nothing. Oh, missed. Yep, you take a risk. Alright, strike. Yeah, it was a risk. But he's brave. He's a hero. Then the striker is going to move toward the uh, wizard. He knew the risks. Six. All right, dwarf. All 
All right, the dwarf is going uh, two squares and attacking diagonally with the long sword. Wow, four. Oh, because you could still see him. It's still active. Yeah. Okay. It, it left it up to you. If you would have casted Tempest and stayed far back, I would have never seen him, but with him rushing up. Yeah, I miscalculated there. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, okay, so four skulls. Wow. All right. <laughs> I have another card here. Hold on. Did. Hold on. I was going to shoot him, but I was afraid of the cover card. Oh, there it is. I dropped it. <laughs> like, I knew I had another card here. What the heck? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, six, eight. Yeah, I've not been updating these. I'm sorry. Okay, I should have... Eight threats. Okay, so I'm going to use... This. So he misses... So the attack fails. And I need to subtract one. There. I need to check under my desk more often now. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's the game winning card right there. Just fell out of my sleeve. Okay. And after that. Scout or crossbowman? The scout. Okay, so he just attacked. Yep. Skull and the hit. Awesome. Uh, the scout's going to run towards the hideout. He needs to go heal up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He can get as far as the door anyway. Out the doorway. All right. And then uh, the crosswoman. Is. Uh. He's gonna attempt to shoot through the wizard. Ooh, okay. So an uncommon feat to try to. See if you can shoot past him without hitting him. And he can. It's like he failed. Okay. So. Was All right. And the wizard Sorry, wrestled. wizard. <laughs> oh, I wrestle in the stats. Wrestling move. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, wizard. I should be uh, full, full of health. <laughs> oh, yes, you are full because you went to the hideout. Oh, I forgot to do that. I, I've been forgetting a lot of stuff today. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, go with the card. Well, the wizard still gets to, well. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, he can well, defend. And then, de uh. I normally wouldn't allow it, but in this case, I'm going to just see what he would get. So he defends with four. Go ahead. <laughs> no such luck. Okay. All right. You take a wild shot, it misses. You give him a bump power slam. <laughs> <laughs> Why? The crowd is like, boo, boo. One of the greatest tag teams of all time. All that history yep. thrown out the window just 
in an instant. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, to be fair, he meant to drop the wizard on the mummy and just happened to miss. Yep. <laughs> Mummy's like, <laughs> steps out of the way. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the camera pans over to a kid who has a, a poster of the crossbowman and the wizard, like, you know, hanging out together, and he, like, tears it in half. <laughs> right. uh, uh, I guess the, the crossbowman takes one step back and starts chatting with the mer merchant about uh, purchasing some uh, aiming potions. <laughs> Just what you see here, pal. Yeah, um, so yeah, that, so that'll bring us over to the monk. Okay. So I guess the wizard ended up where I thought he was. He pinned the arrow! It's a three count, it's a three count. <laughs> no! Okay. I think we're kind of getting getting towards the end here. Um, all right. So, since Gilly left, should we end oh. on his turn, or does someone want to take his turn just so we can clear out the round? I mean, I don't mind if we just call it here. Uh, I have him just take a step back and pull out the longbow and try to kill the mummy i don't think he would object to that would he no i don't think so uh it's uh three three white one purple yeah three white one all right before you can do that cover okay okay well good do <laughs> that or a log trap it's like come on all right you you you, you know how to call him well, good. What the hell? I didn't input right anyway. Oh, because I forgot white. Yep. All right. So he fires the longbow, but the mummy does the splits in slow motion, and the thing goes flying over his head. <laughs> Dang. All right, Ribby. You and the glaive against the Magus guard. Let's go! Let's freaking go! Can I even get there? Probably not. If I get another four, um, the programming. <laughs> I will. Yeah, I'm gonna somehow make it so it doesn't. Yep. Hey, hey, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's get right up in his face. We're throwing down, boy. <gasps> Two skulls. <laughs> you win. Perfect. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, we'll stay yeah. still. That's well, I'll just leave the glaive there. It's fine. Mordecai, you never fail to keep me supplied. Thank you. Do a bonus search. <laughs> you killed him. Get a reward. Sure. Bonus search. Give me. All right, that's a bonus search. Gimme, okay. gimme, I need, I need. A few of those left. Gem, tucked in the hey. toe of an old boot. This one's only 35 <laughs> gold. A lot of boots laying around. Yep. What's up with that? It's as if somebody out there is printing out boot tiles, like they're going out of style. 
and might bring them to Gen Con to give to uh, other HeroQuest fans. You never know. Oh my! An oddly suspicious suspe- specific prophecy there. Yeah. <laughs> Every boot laying around the dungeon is another dead uh, adventure. Yeah, that's 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 also true. What a bad. Well, the barbarian's got seventy-five now. No. Oh. Yep, he's uh, working on his third grog. When the, uh, <laughs> the party, when this is all over. Okay. Anything else? That will be it for me. Okay. So there's only three bonus searches left. Hope you use them wisely. And the glaive is going to stay where he's at? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, we'll uh, close out then. Play us out. Yeah. What does that even mean to play us out? (laughs) No words. (laughs) We'll do it live. All right. (laughs) Thanks for playing, guys. Good game. Uh, we'll have to pick it up later. Yeah. And uh, good stuff, man. Everybody, call your mother. Um, let's see. Next week. Let's see next week. I'm hanging out with my nephew, but I'll probably be back in time for the usual session. The twenty. Wait. The twenty fifth. 25th might be a day that we have to cancel. Fubar says, I'm trying to think of how to craft a small scale boot to put on the custom board. The tininess is intimidating. Well, oh shoot. Um, I don't think the 3D printed board that I have has a boot, but it definitely has like splinters of wood, uh, bone, little stones. So you really could um, 3D print something that small if you wanted. I'm sure it could be done. It's almost like you would yeah. just do the or foot, just get a uh, the foot of a Warhammer miniature or, and or just like Sigmars. glue it on there. Cut the foot off. Yeah, 3D print just the foot. <laughs> I can make it, ha- make it happen. Make it happen. Zargon's mothers. Yeah, I I do have an image. I mean, it's not super special or anything, but I'll just throw it in there. For you guys to see what I'm planning. I'm sure it'll look much better on the actual tile itself. Uh, let's see, where is it? That's going to be one side of it, anyway. And then for fun on the other side, it's going to have the, uh, the little trap warning that you get in the companion app. Since there's no actual tile for that. Fubar says, I don't have a 3D printer and buying a figure just to cut a foot seems wasteful, but way more practical. Well, at Gen Con, they're going to have... Um, Games Workshop always has their you know big pile of sprues, and you can just grab any random bits that you want to make something you know with your ticket so you could do that All you need yeah very leg. true on a lot of figures you don't get extra legs you always get extra arms or weapons and extra yeah. heads so yeah. yeah extra legs are very very hard to come by yeah we're, we're, what happened to the boot with the spikes that pop out you know the little boot knife and roller skate and you know there's so many just so many things they could do but peg leg yeah roller skate roller skate yeah oh maybe ice skates batman forever style he's the one that invented them hockey team from hell yeah kick some ice (laughs) god what a movie movie that was all right well uh everybody thanks for joining us and hero quest fans we'll uh have to see who we can raid next 
catch you next next weekend. Sounds good. All right. Just check and see who's on this time of night. Don't get anything to for saving those uh, villagers. Well, they the attitude. The monsters beat down the door and they were just beating them up. I mean, at least they at least most of them got away alive. So, I guess uh, there's that to okay. look for. Okay, so we've got High Funko is uh, painting Warhammer. We got the Firewire is playing Dead Space. Atsumori Kufahara is playing Artifact Adventure. Not sure what that is. Bengus is playing Fallout 76. What? It's not playing Sea of Thieves anymore. It's just taking a break. Um, I don't know. Do we want to do the Warhammer painting guy or one of the video games? Any preferences? Nobody minds. <laughs> no, uh, I don't mind. But yeah, uh, Bengus he he usually does have a schedule and does like four or five different games. We just usually he's always running. We usually catch him on the pirate days. Yeah, uh, yeah, I catch him a lot on that, and I was catching him a lot on the Age of Empires. Cool. Well, should we do Bengus again? I mean, he's only got three people. The other guys have bigger audiences at the moment. Yeah, help him out. All right. Sounds good. I'll raid Vegas.